what mass of calcium carbonate produces 14 grams of calcium oxide if the percent yield is 50 percent the molar masses are given so the first step would be to find the theoretical yield we know the formula percentage yield is equal to practical yield into 100 divided by theoretical yield rewriting this formula we get theoretical yield is equal to practical yield divided by percentage yield into 100 therefore that is equal to we have percentage yield is 50 so we write on 50 then we have to find the theoretical yield we write it here theoretical yield and practical yield practical yield is 14 grams that is equal to 28 and the unit will be grams because the unit of practical yield is in grams so theoretical yield is 28 grams the yield is always for the product and our product is calcium oxide now let us establish the ratio of the reactant that is calcium carbonate to calcium oxide if you go to the original react you can observe that one mole of calcium carbonate produces same amount of calcium oxide that is only one mole therefore the ratio is 1 as to 1 now since we have 14 grams of calcium oxide we cannot have here 14 grams of that is not the correct thing first we have to convert this to moles and establish the ratio in terms of moles so going for the moles of calcium oxide is equal to mass in grams divided by molar mass the mass is 28 which is our yield and divided by molar mass of calcium oxide is 56 which has been given and therefore the number of moles are 0 0.5 now going back to our ratio 0 0.5 moles of calcium oxide would produce same amount same number of moles of calcium and therefore the answer is 0 0.5 moles of calcium carbonate the next stage is to convert moles of calcium carbonate to grams and that is equal to the number of moles that is 0 0.5 multiplied by the molar mass molar mass is 100 
and therefore we get 50 grams that is the answer that is the mass of calcium carbonate required to produce 14 grams of calcium oxide with 50% yield.